Right, I'm leaving. Caught me picking me here then, didn't you? Because Cheryl bought me this uh, screen thing that goes on front of my YouTube. Uh, so I can actually see what you're seeing now. Picking me ears and scratching me nose. So I'm just leaving Alamshire Hospital now. I hate these speed humps, they're horrible thing here. It's absolutely bloody freezing in this ambulance. So we keep it cool, we don't have it you know, boiling hot, obviously. See how the sun's just shining on me. They say the sun shines on the righteous. Everywhere else is dark and I'm driving through a tunnel and I'm all lit up. How good is that? Anyway, back to what I was saying. Let's turn that over because of GDPR. So you can't see now, because it's not what you like. Yeah, you could see paperwork on there. Yeah, you can, but it's on the opposite side. And it's only my instructions, it's no important. Anyway, so, I'm now going back to our care centre. Oh, by the way, I'm Michael Fogg and I'm an independent funeral director based in Sheffield. If you like what you see, what a funeral director does and gets up to, then feel free to subscribe, I'd really... Go on, mate. Uh, I really like that. I'll just show you bare bones of what funeral directors do. So I'm not on YouTube like a lot of funeral directors. A day in the life of a funeral director. And they try to sell you funeral plans and caskets and, uh, and all that, you know what I mean? Take a walk round our premises and they'll show you office and reception. I know, just like this kid out. Uh, you don't want to see all that, you know what I mean? It's just, well, some people might want to see it. I don't know, but I take you everywhere with me. You know what I mean? And I don't hold back. So if I've got this on and I see somebody, I'll talk to them. Uh, just as I would if you weren't there. Because it's nice just to be who you are. So I don't try and because I'm from Yorkshire, I can't put a posh voice on anyway. Uh, I'm just normal, let's say. So, this is a, Go on, mate. See how good I am. I'm always letting people out and crotch the wood. My father once said to me, well, not once, as he were dying, actually. And, uh, not, I'll let everybody out and nobody lets me out. Uh, my, my dad didn't say that, he were dying. But what he did say is, do one good thing. I says, is that what I can do for it? And he says, ah, it is. I can do one good thing every day for somebody. It makes a difference. I told you earlier, he were, he were full of good advice. He never listened to what he said, but he was full of good advice, our old man. Uh, he, and I says, what's the meaning? He says, just, just do something nice for somebody. It, I'm very conscious about you seeing that. That's it. Hang on, no. Nah, you're too dark. That's better. Nah, I'm too dark. See what I mean? It's good, isn't it? I can like see what, what you're seeing. Anyway, uh, yeah, he says just do one nice thing if it's letting somebody cross through or do it. It'll make their day and it'll make their day. And I didn't think much about it 12 years since. My dad died 12 years yesterday. It's 12 years yesterday since he passed. Uh, and I've tried to do that. So if I meet shopping as a young gun and uh, mother say, you know, I'm in them sweets. I'll buy them sweets. <clears throat> I was at a funeral yesterday and this little lad here, not little, but about 10, 11. Uh, and a lovely kid, a genuinely lovely little lad who was doing his uh, nan's funeral. Uh, and when I dropped family off at pub, uh, I was saying to that to everybody and I pulled, I opened my wallet and I took 20 quid out. I says, here, listen. This is not for healthy things like carrots and that crap. 
salads. It's not for that. This is for sweets. I want you to go and get some spice. Have a drink of beer or something. Use this money sensibly. Don't be buying like healthy things, but enjoy it. So that was my little 